His Holiness, the 17th Galwa Kamapa, a young man poised on the brink of greatness. A teacher who has returned to human form to continue his work for mankind. An enlightened being now in preparation to take on his role as one of the greatest spiritual leaders of all time. His Holiness, the 17th Galwa Kamapa, is part of an ancient tradition of high prestige, a tradition that goes back to the 12th century. The first reincarnate master of Tibet, he belongs to a long line of great spiritual leaders, reincarnated for one sole purpose, to benefit all sentient beings and to spread Buddha Dharma. The Kamakajud lineage is where ancient teachings are transmitted from master to disciple, so carefully and painstakingly that the spiritual knowledge has remained pure and authentic from the primordial Buddha, Doji Chang, to this present day. The Galwa Kamapas have always been the recipients of the Kajud teachings and the blessings that they confer. This is His Holiness, the late 16th Galwa Kamapa. It was through this great Bodhisattva that the Buddha Dharma spread from the mysterious highlands of Tibet to the West and other parts of the world. When iron birds fly and horses run on wheels, Buddha Dharma will spread to the West, goes an old Tibetan prediction. And when the spiritual practices of men degenerate, says an old Red Indian prediction, a man with a red hat will come and show himself a sincere friend, a benefactor. When His Holiness, the late 16th Kamapa, visited the United States, he prayed and brought much-awaited rain to the Red Indian tribes. The 16th Kamapa wanted to lead all beings to free themselves from confusion and to live in harmony, to enable mutual understanding between beings so that they may live in peace and that the Dharma may develop everywhere. Special to the Galwa Kamapas is a black crown ceremony. It is not merely an affirmation of his authority and power. It is a display of his compassion and wisdom. For those who witness this ceremony, it is believed that a transformation will take place within your heart. A seed is planted that will bear the fruits of compassion and wisdom in time. A link is made between you and the Kamapa. And that for the next seven lives, those who witness this ceremony will not fall into the lower realms. When His Holiness, the 16th Kamapa, passed away, the world wept at the departure of a great Buddhist leader, master, 
and Bodhisattva. my hand over this holiness's uh, heart area and each day i was amazed to find that it stayed warm uh, i wasn't as amazed after 24 hours but then after 48 and 72 hours i was beginning to be uh, quite shocked traditionally after uh, shortly after that the body becomes cold as the circulation stops and in his holiness's case there was a definite warmth uh, over the area of the heart as a physician, I have no explanation for this. And the world awaited eagerly for His Holiness to reincarnate once again. When he was born, his mother had a dream that indicated the great spiritual role her son was to fulfill. Not too long after he was born, it has been said that he said to his parents, I am Kamapa. And the history of the Galwa Kamapas have it that the Kamapas have the intrinsic ability to self-proclaim their identity at a young age. The 17th Kamapa is devoted to his role. His days are filled with studies where he prays for all obstacles to be cleared for all sentient beings. Toga Rinpoche has been a teacher to His Holiness since the day His Holiness stepped into Kibi. To him, His Holiness is a keen learner with a sincere hunger for knowledge, knowing that with it, many sentient beings will be benefited. His passing is very much missed by His Holiness. I'm quite sad, but like, uh, I just like, really wished that uh, you know, there would be a reincarnation of him. And, uh, until now, I've been like, really searching and then to find where his recognition is. Well, because um, the actually the teachers are the ones like you know that actually help us to how to say you know like you know help us to have the big step you know to go through the big step and then really it gives us the strength and give us the wisdom and everything. So actually that's why it's very important not, not just for like myself but actually for everyone. And then like without the teacher like you know, no one would ever know. Like how to go on, and like you know, uh, you know, because of their, how to say, uh, because of their care, and like you know, uh, because of, how to say, the things that you learn from them, like it really helps on like whatever you're doing. Actually, like for my side, it's the most important thing is the Dharma, and like through him, like I've learned a lot of, a lot of things about Dharma, and that's why it's really important.